everybody. It is Tuesday, April 12th, 2022. I'm Bryce Castillo, uh, your pre-show great room, green room navigator. I got a little bit of stuff I got to get done before uh, before the start of the show. So uh, we're going to take you into the green room a little quickly today. But thank you so much for joining us. We will be uh, talking all about Founders Day and all sorts of good stuff coming up. All right. Well, let's see if the green room can hear me. Green room can you hear me. Yo, yo. Yeah. Hey. Hello. Uh, and have a good green room. Hey, Bryce. Yeah. Bryce. Yeah, what's up? Bryce. Bryce, Bryce. What, Bryce. What, what, how do you feel about HEB? Yeah, what's your thoughts on HEB? Let's talk HEB, bro. We're, all right, here. The H-E-B B stands for bro. The H stands uh, for hi- hype. Yeah, hype. hype. Uh, uh-huh. The E stands for emotions. Yep, hype, hype emotion, emotions, bro. bro. That's how we describe you, and so we feel like you might have some H E B feelings. Uh-huh. Yep. So what? What? What do you? All right. If you're gonna describe H E B as an animal, what would it be? Oh, oh as an ant? Oh. <laughs> Yeah, uh, well, that was a hard left turn. We yeah, said, I was, well, no, no, it I'm was a preamble. It. it was a preamble, no, 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 so good. we could answer. Look, I was, I'm, yeah. I was, I was braced I'm, for this. I'm here to bring the the people's questions to the powerful. Yeah, of course. It, the H E B's animal would be a, a monkey with four butt cheeks because it's Howard E. Butts. Yeah. Well, yes. But how does that serve the community? Yeah. Well, uh, and also, uh, hold on. We have a that lot of serious questions question. about how does that serve the <laughs> that community, wasn't right? the question. <laughs> I'm sorry. We're getting a lot of feedback right now there's about how this question. serves uh, the community. I'll tell you what. Br- Bryce, we're going to start a discussion about HEB. Yeah. You join us whenever you can. How exactly. about that? But also, if you aren't going to have some answers on how this serves the community, then honestly, stay the fuck out. No, uh, no. <laughs> or, or come uh, come in anyway. Yeah, It'll be right. fine. Or, be there, or, but also, what I said <laughs> so uh we were talking about uh i tweeted this out uh in the austin subreddit it was it was like the hottest item in my entire reddit feed was H-E-B not b is high not nasty but but somebody just said what's the deal with h-e-b and then what followed was a sincere analysis of like I understand that, well, that Austinites really love it. I would like to know why. And, you know? and also, he he laid out, uh, or she, I don't know, uh, uh, laid out that uh, they came from San Diego, where there's a lot of uninspiring chains that everybody knows, like Ralph's and Vaughn's. Sure. Then went to South Florida, where Floridians very much love Publix. Publix. Yep. Yeah. Yep. And, and shouted out the things that Floridians Great love about Publix. Sure. Right? Yeah. Which is largely that they have a sub shop. Yeah. It's like like their their products are cool, but like the thing that people really like about it is that Sandwiches. the food that you get there is, yeah. is good. Uh, and so he was like, "Well, HEB does not have food like Publix. Uh, it seems like it's just a very well stocked uh, a grocery store. Why do Austinites love it? And more specifically, why? Because uh, uh, Whole Foods is so." identified with austin outside of austin mm-hmm. like why when you come to austin everyone's like oh yeah no h-e-b is the H-E-B. shit like yeah. i guess there's a whole foods uh, yeah so so when i first uh opened it it was like at like i don't know 300 upvotes and then i checked in and it was at 500 upvotes and then it was up to like 800 upvotes and then uh, uh there are 825 comments that are are basically crowning H-E-B as a grocery store god king of that like they, they flat out ben, told ben stories Havilland. emotional stories of yeah. when H-E-B came through when FEMA didn't and yeah. and how during the, fee, the the freeze they handled stuff during the pandemic they were fast and they pivoted and all that stuff so uh to answer your question they are privately owned which I that's think what I figure a has big a big part of it because they're not answering to like shareholders are like tell yep. me about the money you know I, I think Publix is the same way yeah and you know when Mostly because I think one of the heirs funded January 6th, and so that's why I know. Oh, that's why I know oh, that they're that they're privately on. Weird, but then uh, I mean, not January. Like they were, <laughs> they, they, they they funded like yeah, they were like get on in there. Yeah. Publix yeah. loves they, they, revolution. Yeah, they, they here's funded. a sandwich. Get exactly. In there. Here's a chicken tenders pub sub. <laughs> Go shit on Nancy Pelosi's desk. This revolution <laughs> brought to you by Publix. <laughs> yeah, no, they they sponsored the thing that happened before right. the thing. Oh, okay. yeah. But uh, when they they go into a community. Community, they um, first they tell the the local like 
shitty you know the shitty grocery store that everybody's just like i saw a rat in there but i still have to buy my food somewhere you know they come in and they say hey we're building it's gonna take us you know two years you get everything figured out and we're we're happy to help with the transition and hire your employees and like so so so, uh, they don't just like run people i mean they they're like yes when we come to town you're we 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 understand we are a a a hurricane coming into your city um so that's wild. Yeah, is so they, is they that an to make arrogant that gesture or a positive one? Ladies and gentlemen, Here's Bryce Castillo. Everybody scoot in, scoot in, scoot in. Oh, no, scoot I got in. a chair. No, no, okay. you got a chair. Oh, okay. He's got, right, a little, right. he's got a little Bryce chair. Hello, everybody. Uh, KGB's so, great, except for what it did to the traffic around here. Uh, yeah. Wait, what did it wait, do to oh, the traffic? Wait, H-E-B? Yeah. The, the new oh, one the that new they opened one. up here is ruined traffic at that uh, that cross jumping. yeah oh. I, th- I think they showed up before they did the construction they're going to do a flyover and it'll be like a highway thing and all right, that stuff right. yeah mm. you'll, you'll be able to bypass all but that. they had mm. they had to put that one in there before they could do the construction because i think i think that whole like center where the other is going to get happening is demolished get demolished oh yeah. hmm. interesting so, the, yes, the y and oak it. hill center mm-hmm. yep yeah. that's right where will i get my tsa pre-check Author. Is that you know, where that yeah, was? Yeah. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. I, I went to the same place. Yeah. <laughs> it's, a, it's a little place. So you just go in and. Yeah, cool. I don't that's know how too much of all that is Yeah. Good. What that, that's, we do? that's how you gain the government's trust. That's right. You go to a one room uh, mm-hmm. strip mall thing and, and they go, well, I'm just glad you showed up. <laughs> it was so creepy being no, it, in that it was little place. The light. Was, go ahead. It was creepy. They're like, it was we big, have... actually. Because in that the was it. What made it weird is that yeah. it was overly big. Big and yeah. empty. Yeah. yeah. And they like take you back to a room and sit you down. And you're just like, they it had no windows in the room. Mm-hmm. And that was weird. I didn't like the windowless interrogation. Yeah. It was very was much weird. like an un, un, unadorned space. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You know. Um, a lot of yeah, big empty flat I think, walls, I think no that's decorations. The test because because if somebody says we're going to take you to a windowless room and we're going to ask you some questions, when somebody goes, Ooh, they're like, okay, and you, you do not pass. Do not get <laughs> right. uh, uh, or maybe you should way, pass because we you would be the one having, who wouldn't want that's, that's to true. scan. We are having some regional challengings. Uh, uh, musical oh. chemist says that uh, Wegman's wins every region that it moves into. Uh, mm. Bring it on, and Wegman. I, uh, well, let, let, me, let, me, all right, here, let me give you the pitch of Wegman's. Okay, Wegman because man. Because Wegman's were really, really big I in, am, in upstate New I've, York. I've been in a Wegman's. Uh, their pitch is good food, or like a mm-hmm. well stocked, well run grocery, which I think all the top tier contenders are. Uh, but they not only have like a sub sandwich thing. They essentially have like a mall food court's worth oh. of like food, right? Mm. So you can get the stir fry, you can get the Chinese, you can but get that's the sushi. What you can get. We're, yeah. we're talking more about how they serve the community. So it's it's Whoa. not just. Well, I mean, you know. I know, that's what makes H E B stand out, yeah. right? Yeah. Bob saying this is why, like, like, like they're, uh. they're saying, oh no, oh sure, yes, and then they uh, fly their blimp over and throw <laughs> turkeys to the children. Uh, uh, how about this? Come into our uh, place and we'll feed you food that's delicious. Here's okay. that for a pitch. If you're throwing a turkey from a blimp, you're probably murdering people on the ground. So I mean, yeah. at one I don't know why. I, I, I don't know why Mr. Yeah. Butts would no. do that. That God is my witness. I thought turkeys could fly. <laughs> <laughs> I thought turkeys could. Uh, all right, what else we got besides H E B? H Mart would be one that's that was that's a little on the edge. But that's a, a Korean. Fringe. That's a Korean. Yeah, but the right? food yeah. is fantastic, and oh, they're sure. good to their community, and they've got good variety. It's a specialty market. Well, uh, yeah. it's nice. No, no, everybody so, I know yeah. loves yeah. H Mart. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think it's an, yeah. I think it's I call it we're, normal Mart, dude. We're, <laughs> we're, we're all worried about like a North Korean invasion. It's Are a we? South Korean invasion. Yeah, we should exactly be worried about. It is. It's, it's a delicious, from the delicious inside. invasion. We need yeah. more TS army. Yeah. We need eagles on screen. We need flags. <laughs> yeah, we need a little right. thing telling us about sure. Pizza Gate. Uh, uh, so uh, uh, w- uh, uh, before we move on from Reddit, there was a uh, question like, "Hey, hey, what YouTube channels?" I think it was you that posted it in the Slack. Mm-hmm. Uh, what YouTube channels are produced here locally? And so in uh, Austin, uh, I go down and and you know I'm checking in, and it's like we're we're like number four or five with the Mono Rogue. It's like uh, ahead of us are 
the person who does yoga, the uh, uh, rooster teeth, you know, sure. people you would expect. You know, Joe Rogan, of course. Yeah. Um, but then, but then somewhere down there is a, uh, uh, you know, the Mata Rogue produced locally. In fact, they just had an event. Uh, 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 Josh uh, uh, Nasser has uh, Josh from Ham Radio was mm-hmm. there, and and, and uh, uh, oh my God, uh, Brian Rushford. I was watching his stuff when I was in elementary school. I would love to meet him someday. Next up, if you want to meet him. He's there almost every day at the Torchies at Belterra Village <laughs> between 10 and 11, almost You're always with a taco and a beer. Oh and I was like, God. I am very uncomfortable with what I just read. <laughs> oh, my God. Boom, yeah. Boom. Yeah. Boom. You so, got you got like, intel dropped. I, I mean, I just I, I I was just like, well, this place burnt. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> never going back. You break the cell phone, throw it in the Fucking garbage. Poor <laughs> torchies. Damn. Good thing we had torchies at the event. Otherwise, you might have missed it. You might have never eaten the rest of your life. Again. Yeah. yeah. Well, that was the last time, except for it. this morning. <laughs> <laughs> Between ten and eleven, and most likely tomorrow. <laughs> Between ten and yeah. eleven, <laughs> with a beer. It'll be a different location. <laughs> Where no, it was used in tribal life to the one without the bar. Justin's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there. Yeah. And they come bad. in, they're like, hey, yo, yeah. Okay. Uh, oh, that's right. All of a sudden, we have a bunch of people who, for the, for the very first time, uh, I, I know we're holding off. We're holding off for the, the big show. Yeah. But mm. they got to experience Torchies at, at this weekend's oh, event yeah. that will yeah. remain unnamed until was, the show starts. <laughs> yeah. Somebody it, said they didn't like it. It was really? good. No, F, no, F is like. Uh, uh, F is like pay your respects. In the game Skyrim. Press F like, to pay your respects. It's a video game. Thing. No, so okay. there was there was there was this there was this you guys uh, video are game thing that became. <laughs> I don't know. There, there was there was a meme of some war video game where you are at your fallen fellow soldier's funeral, and one of the prompts is. Uh, press F to pay your respects. <laughs> and so, and so that was like that was the meme. What that this is okay. like this inhumane, hilarious kind of moment in video game history. And now F is to pay your respects. So, That's so just whatever, what it like is. like it'll so be so not it, fuck torches, but if, F yeah. if, for if, torches. Yeah. If, if you're not so in exactly. the loop, it's respect, re- Mary kill. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right. It's, a, it's one of those weird moments where if you're not in the loop and you're in the middle of like yeah. Um, you know, my, my beloved dog passed away. And then all of a sudden, the chat just goes, F, 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 And you're like, what the, what oh, is wow. happening? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Tell a better story. Sad. Yeah, right? So also, now- our beloved dog passed away this That's week. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Shout out to Sneakers. The legend. Oh, the legend. oh I, 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 I didn't get to explain. Uh, one of the folks at the event on Saturday uh, gave us that toy that is a sneaker. for. Uh, it's a dog toy. That is a sneaker in honor of sneakers. That's That's sweet. sweet. Yeah. Well, so. Yes. um, Go on. Speaking of memes. Speaking of. uh, Have you heard the term, like, I know you have. (laughs) Wait! Oh, that was that was a dangerous clear move. Out. That's clear out! Dangerous clear out! Clear out! Give her the floor! Yeah. Give her the floor! Move. Give her the floor! In <laughs> describing that somebody's fashionable, saying, you know, oh yeah, that jacket is drip. <laughs> have you heard that? You have, right? I have heard drip. Yes. Drip, right? Yes. Like you would say. But it would, drip how would is you a use thing. it? No, no, no. It would no, not no. be it's, an it's, adjective. Yeah, it's in that adjective. way. It's a noun, okay, not an adjective. It's a noun. Well, That's I have drip. You I would say, drip, yeah. yeah, look at your drip. I don't yes. Know. Well, I it, it, it is like a, a na- description. It's more like a noun. Like, like it, is, it is a substitute for outfit. Like right. a good outfit is drip. Good drip. styling. Yes. Oh, yeah. okay. So it was amazing because I'm out, out at a restaurant with Penny, and then, like, she says something about drip, and then she just – and then has to explain everything. <laughs> and then I was just like – Oh my God! It was a really good academic deconstruction of the word "drip," except oh. that I used it wrong. So yeah. apparently, no, I, but that's. But not, you were close. I mean, like I mean, you were not like you were off. I, yes. I, yeah. I, I, I mean, if I, I, if we weren't trying to make though. comedy, this would have been a much quicker conversation. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You got you got it right enough. Yeah, yeah. We just had to make a meal out of this right. very rich, fertile comedic soil. Yeah, yeah. But it, it was so funny because then she goes, "Mom, um, do not use it." <laughs> she goes, "You can only 
use it ironically at this point, and I just don't believe you can. So. Wow. <laughs> and she was just like, and, and then to her, it, you know, I was just like, well, and then I gave it her practice, and she's like, no, you're doing it wrong, mm-hmm. you know? And she goes, it's it's three layers deep by this point. So, like, if you can't, if you can't, like, really, if you weren't there from the beginning to understand the three layers that of deepness that it is now and use mm-hmm. it ironically, stay clear. Just don't, you know? <laughs> so, I mean, it, with- is a, it is a little ironic. Because I feel like if I've ever said it, it's mostly been ironic with with my friends, like, Right. Oh, hey, check out your trip. Yeah. And it's like, I, I don't know. It's kind of ironic, but you kind of mean it. Uh, it's very, it's very unhelpful. It, it, it's but very, it is, but, but it's like a fine line. Yeah, right? it's, it's complex. Like, yeah. This is where I think that Andrew Heaton has true wisdom uh, that surpasses all of our years in that he understands that if you are timeless, if you are from 1947, also. Then, then you, uh, <laughs> you're never out of place because you're always out of place. Uh, Although... Although, Andrew Heaton, uh, uh, who famously is is uh, uh, very, very, very averse to heat, yes. ironic because of his name, yes. Andrew Heaton. Uh, yes. He uh, has recently invested in a lot of linen shirts and shorts. Yeah. He's, he's, he's uh, embracing short life. Look, look at these raggedy sticks I have beneath my body. <laughs> Uh, uh, These uh, raggedy yeah. just, just not related to the story. Just look at them. Yeah. <laughs> Gaze yeah. upon me. Do the voice. Oh, I'm a wooden boy, and my legs are sticks. <laughs> well, that's shite. <laughs> <laughs> what? It was our flag means death. Oh, yeah. Oh. Uh, Three, four. Okay. All right. <laughs> anyway, so uh, he, when uh, 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 Rachel was in town, was uh, uh, trying to guess his age. And went way over when Heaton was in a suit. Yes. Heaton was talking to another person who I had never met uh, uh, prior to that night mm. while he was wearing his shorts and a shirt. And she thought he was a lot younger ah. than he was. How, how, uh, how many in years younger? The gulf between the two was... Ten or twelve years. I wow. can't. Pretty good. I can't. I can't, I can't remember. I can't remember exactly the number. It's pretty good. Is he uh, clean shaven right now? Because when he's got the beard, I feel like he was. No, he was the same facial hair for both. My point was, when it looks like you own a blimp, <laughs> people just <laughs> assume you're fifty plus. <laughs> they just assume it. Yeah. yeah there's and, no twenty year old blimp owners. And well, then, especially and then, if he calls it a dirigible. That would yes. be the yeah. other one. Which of course he would. Yes. Yeah. Just look at him. Yeah. Because it's the accurate term for that. Yes. Yeah. Because yeah. it's sewn into his pocket square. <laughs> but more importantly, they're disappointed when you don't have a blimp. So. Yes. Yeah, now we got to get like, him a blimp. Hey, man, you want to come back and see we my make Zeppelin collection? Know, yes, there and it turns out so. that they're albums, and then they're very upset. That's weird. <laughs> Led Zeppelin is a band, then they have albums. Okay. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. What? Thanks. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Did you Three, just let's explain to he Brett? Let's play to me. No, he, he <laughs> no sold me on my Led Zeppelin joke. God damn it. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Why'd you no sell him on his joke? Yeah, Brett, yeah, what the fuck? Yeah, what Why'd the you fuck? do that? Like, oh, oh, a mob? May I join? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Read the room first. Right, right, Hold right, on. Right, right. Let me hey, back off. off. Let me get ready. Let Don't me get be a ready bully. for this. I'll anyway, just... fuckwad, what's your deal? <laughs> This is our fight, see? <laughs> it's okay, buddy. I got this. Uh, oh, man. Our goal for the pre-show was to not talk about that. Uh, yeah. uh, let's I, talk about the beer mile. No, we were no, talking about that during the show. Let's yeah. not. Never mind. Uh, does uh. anybody have $300? Yeah, on, I got on it. them? I got, I got you. What do you I, mean? What, I got what a, mean? I got a mean, traffic violation no. by the mail. Oh, no. By mail? Oh, by mail. They're like, we and cut a, you. And a maggot on your you. sleeve? Uh, so shave your face apparently, with some mace in the dark? Apparently when I was I so on Monday. I got This was rhetorical. Oh, my. 123? There we go. Oh, oh shit. Mitzi's got you. No, no, Mitzi's no, got no, you. No, this is. This yeah. Is, yeah. No. yeah. <laughs> so. Dance, bitch. <laughs> that was the one thing. What? So what? on Mondays between I'm the, the only shows. I'm without $300. Uh, I go, take your filthy money. Good. I go to go eat. I go eat between the shows because it's a long day. Yeah. And so I guess uh, two or three weeks ago, I was driving to go get some chicken. 
from the nerdy ass chicken place. Nerdy from the nerdy ass, ass chicken, chicken place. place. And I thought, I thought that that bus stop, that school bus had stopped, oh. or had not stopped yet. Oh, oh yeah. that they hadn't floated the fins out. Yeah, the fin was like still coming out when I drove by it. Yeah, and. Uh, then gotcha. I looked at the video and it was not the case yeah, at so all. It had very much stopped oh, no. well ahead of me. Uh, so wait, wait, who's recording? The, the bus? school buses have cameras. Oh. They had they have front the cameras spy buses. and back cameras. So when the front camera catches you, the back camera gets your plate. So let's let's be clear here. They've got these fancy cameras that record, but they can't put seat belts in there? Is that we don't need seat belts. I mean, seat kids don't need seat belts. They'll be fine. Do they still not I mean, have seat belts? They, they still they don't, don't have seat But they belts. don't, because school buses don't get in accidents. Uh, well, in, like in <laughs> I mean, what also, the, the, unless the when they do school and 12 bus, kids uh, 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 he pays controller, attention. Like, like, yep. I'm just saying. Are, are you reading these stats? When was the last time an entire school bus of kids got whiplash? Oh, my God. Yeah. All right. Well, now that the Please let me know. Not rhetorical. But in the meantime, let me say that the spirit that you're expressing, I believe in, which is Bryce, basically school bus truther. Uh, <laughs> in a battle of any collision, the bus, bus wins, wins. In with one exception, of, uh, like true. a pylon or a wall. And right. so, so it's like in general, there's no point to seatbelts if, if you're just going to plow this, through yeah. the civics <laughs> as far as the eye can see. And yeah. the seats in front of, like, usually they're padded seats. It's not like they're like your That's true. metro seats where they're all I mean, hard like, plastic. I, yes, and like I'm, I'm here for all of the the real world of physics I'm of all this. With but you on like, this one, Bryce. Uh, like, no, I'm I'm with you guys too. I'm. Just it doesn't sound like that, you. That, that that you know, parents haven't been like like mm. absolute not my kid. Mm, yeah. My my. Uh, although I guess if mm. you're like if you're seriously not my kid, then you're just driving you drive your kid. To school. Yeah. I mean, yeah. school anyway. All I know. Oh, school buses are for unwanted children. Oh, oh. oh no! I oh. just made that realization. Oh, no. oh I, I took the I school know. bus a lot. <laughs> I walk. I walked to school in elementary school. And my my oh, mom drove one of no. those buses full of unwanted mm -hmm. children. All yeah. I know is it, it's kind of like a congressman, All where it's like is Congress is a bunch of jerks, but my congressman is great. I don't know about school buses in general, but I know our school bus guy <laughs> is cool because he made all the children wait and. And kind of did this, like, just pass me before I have to put the flag out. Uh, <laughs> and I'm like, you're a cool bus driver. That's very cool. Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, yeah. well, well, that I was herb that, to... that nailed Bryce for a fucking three spot. They really yeah. got it. You know what was really bad Same is one. that because they have a, they show you the That's... video clip, not just the pictures, even. They have the, like, before when they, and when after. they email you, yeah. mm -hmm. they should yeah. have, they should hire podcasters to make bits out of rubbing it in people's faces. Yeah. I just say it. State of Texas, we're the, available. The, the weird How does that go, Brian? What uh, does it, that do for the community? Uh, go, uh, uh, first of all, uh, revenue source. We could sell purple mattresses. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And it, it, also, no, why the no fuck taxes. are you trying to talk us out of a government gig, <laughs> Brian, uh, Brian? Let's go. Okay. All right. <clears throat> uh, welcome. Uh, we, uh, we, uh, uh, <laughs> Oh my God. These, are, the, yeah. Hold these on. are the podcasters uh, that they go. hired. Yeah. I know. Wow. Here we go. Here we go. I'm Brian Brushwood. I'm Justin Robert Young. And welcome to Movo, the only show dedicated to moving violations in the state of Texas. We got some real ass hats coming up, don't we, Justin? Yep. Like you, Bryce Castillo. <laughs> Damn it. Damn it. <laughs> you Look at this guy. Every week it's fucked me. Up. It's me every week. <laughs> you fucked up in a big way, my what? guy. Shit. Here's <laughs> the video clip. Uh, Bryce, uh, play it. <laughs> <laughs> what, are, where, where, what do you think he's playing on his radio? radio. Play it. So when I watched the video clip, uh, uh, what made it worse is that there was someone who definitely did stop way earlier than I did. Oh. And you blew right by him? Oh, you. Well, they were anticipating the bus stop. Like, that. that is yeah. their usual route. Because I don't know where the bus but is stopped. But also, yeah, also. Like, you don't know. And then all of a sudden, how, you're just like, whoops a doodle. So the, the, but now you know. Also, how hungry were they? <laughs> the other, the last. <laughs> Probably was, not as hungry as you. It was <laughs> on. Yeah. Can you appeal saying I had a rumbly in my tumbly? <laughs> <laughs> they do say you can make a rumbly tumbly exemption 
application. Uh, uh, Your Honor, I would like to, to uh, appeal it's this infraction on the. I don't have my receipts anymore. On, on the case that I had, a, I had a real rumbly in my tumbly, and I needed, to, I <laughs> needed to fill it. Have you seen the video though? It was weird how every video that he's in, he's flipping off the bus. <laughs> as he goes yeah. Did they give you a copy of the video for your own records? It's you pull it up online. Yeah. So you, you can still have it? Record it. I, yeah. Can we play it? <laughs> Bryce, play the video. That's where we're going. Because we have a pitch that we want to do for Movo, the only show dedicated to movie violations in the state of Texas. Uh, it sounds like a show I've heard of before. Because <laughs> you've been on it. I, a few I, times. I wonder how my how I will come so, across in the edit. In Texas, if you're speeding, uh, you can just take defensive driving. Is there any option like that? N- no, because it's not because you endanger children. It's because it's not a ticket. What it's is a, it? It's a fine. It's like they have very, they're like they have very specific cagey oh, language. Of like, so, so, so it's not a point on your license or right. anything like it's that. It's not a so point. It's, actually it's kind of better, insurance. even if it's pricier. Yeah, yeah. you're welcome. Yeah. Won't, won't affect your insurance. Wait, it, that doesn't affect. Your, it doesn't affect any of that stuff. Your license not, at all? Mm-mm. Yeah, and, wait, wait. Then when, if you don't pay it, what happens? It's weird. They are you even, get an arrest warrant. Well, they're cagey oh. because they're like, if you don't pay this, we. I don't know legalese. Maybe I read it wrong, but it sounds like when you read it. It, it says, if you don't pay this, we kind of can't do anything unless you, like, really fuck up. And, and it's like, be cool, but, bro. Be cool. Uh, West, well, West and, Warren and or from, something, from eventually. What I understand, they're liberal about handing out those fines because when I'm they're sure. left unattended, <laughs> they become arrest warrants. And then later you get arrested for or not like paying the fine regardless. five over the whatever. And so what they're doing over. is they're and like, there. we mm-hmm. we have Bryce Castillo here, and he he's wanted – for uh, for <laughs> this bad crime, and he races by the school bus and flips them and, off. And flips them and off. I do, and I do flip them and off. they're like, "He's a bad guy." Yeah, it was so. it was one of the <laughs> Wait, who's who's yeah, is this mo- I'm, I'm the confused with every in character <laughs> in that improv. I, I, I love all of it, but are. I just don't know who it I was. I don't know who's talking. <laughs> yeah. I don't know who's shouting. <laughs> <laughs> like, were you the news? And yeah. then you it, were somebody just, watching uh, the news? This is a pronoun oh, yeah. in need of an antecedent. Uh, <laughs> bring us in. Okay. <laughs> so, the court arrests Bryce for some the other... Court. The court arrests Bryce. Right. Normally, right. the police who, arrest who people. Is yeah. this? Your point. Honor, I thought a cop was supposed to do this. <laughs> in this case, Come the, along. the judge, the, the, the judge the says, <laughs> all right, jury, field trip. We're going to go arrest somebody. And so, all the jurors get up, the prosecutor, the defendant's attorney, the judge, the bailiff, and they all hop into, of all things, a school bus. bus. (laughs) That's how they get you. This is is the truth. And and as you're trying to escape, they slowly put those stop signs out, (laughs) getting you one more time. It was it it uh, the, I was conf- if look if this was a reg- if this was a normal like just a two lane or four lane road I would have known to really stop but sure this was up on there where there's a protected lane a protected turn lane in the middle yeah right and so I wasn't sure if that's because with an with your with an with an avenue or a median you don't have to stop on the opposite side right yeah ah. yeah all the all the wine moms argue about this on the uh, the local mom group oh right? really. Yeah, and it's like... Uh, They're like, uh, dear internet, today a judge, a bailiff, 12 <laughs> jurors, two attorneys showed up at my door. That's they right. said, where's Bryce? <laughs> <laughs> Does anybody know who Bryce is? Also, what's up with H-E-B? <laughs> <laughs> so Wrap I'm... it up quick. I'm trying to see Brian Brunchwood between 10 and 11 at the Torchy's Tacos in Belterra. I'll just look for the guy with a taco and a beer. <laughs> I like that. I like that little addendum, as if you were looking for Brian Brushwood and couldn't tell what he looked like. <laughs> yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, also, what snitch? Uh. Yeah. Do you know? Yeah. Yeah. You, you have suspicions? I mean, no. No. I actually don't know, but um, I did do the thing where you click on a username and you see what he posts everywhere else. Mm. Mm-hmm. Strongly opinionated individual about a lot of sex things. Mm. Uh, really? Yeah. Mm. Interesting. That's all the clues I'm willing to give. Mm. You don't think it's a bartender? No. no. That's a sacred class. I mean, right. I, I mean, 
first of all, why is he bar, chasing you around? A bartender is on the dole. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. like, like he, he knows that if he wants the tips to keep on coming, he's yeah. not going to spill. It's like, like going where to confession. His tipper is because nope. yeah. because yeah. you would think that those bartenders would know that you would be the guy who's vanity searching on. Reddit, right? Uh, well, I mean, uh, 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 when you put it that way, it sounds like I ran past a stop school bus. <laughs> <laughs> that would be silly. <laughs> Funny you should say that. I got a video you should watch. <laughs> <laughs> this is better than YouTube. Uh, so, so there's there's no out on the fine. Uh, no. What do you think? Unless I contest loan? it. Uh, no, I mean I can. <laughs> after, after we just threw it. Wait, you want to get a title loan? Just turn the car in for. <laughs> but uh, uh, yeah, I mean I'll, I'll just pay it. But because uh, it's it's not like I was close. You know they have the video clip. There was someone else. I really fucked up. I really fucked up. Way to own your shit, man. Yeah. 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 Good job running. Skip out on it. Skip out on it just to show them that they don't own you. Yeah. Responsible guy here, man. Yeah. Be responsible for your own liberty and and refuse the call. What? Wait, no. To pay the fine. Uh. That's going to set him on his adventurous hero's journey. He's going to refuse the call for but Don't you eventually follow safety. the call, which would be paying yeah. fine? I mean, afterwards. But then, but then, but then you you're pay gonna go a on a terrible big price lesson. as yeah. well, and you get what you want, which is the thing you could have had from the beginning by See, paying the, the fine. A job as a school bus uh, driver. And they, yeah, <laughs> they don't let you. Actually, that would be a great ending. <laughs> <laughs> you have to be a bus driver from now on. Oh, man. We're, we're going to get the, uh, the haunted bus running, and you're going to learn how to drive. It, you're like, I'm, I'm a Tony. <laughs> then you put the sign, the the thing out, mm. and somebody goes by, and you're but like, wait, Son of a... and that's. But the wait, credit. there's mm-hmm. a twist because the children in the back are the ghost children of people who've been run over by people who didn't stop for the sign. Yep, and didn't. Yeah, you have to take care of a bunch of ghost kids now. Yeah, yeah. the worst. I should have just paid the fine. Yeah. Don't worry, yeah, don't worry. Really it's should. a comedy. One of them curses. And, <laughs> <laughs> You know. The other one has chocolate cake. Yeah, on exactly. Yeah, it's Five sure. minutes, everybody. Yeah. Thank you, Bob. All right. It's funny, Bryce though. Castillo, right. known felon. Here we go. I've got to go drive past a school bus. Uh, uh, moving violator. <laughs> Why do we just have no on here? I don't know, but I love it. And I, uh, <laughs> yes, With I'm here for it. Print, by the way. <laughs> so that's very sad. No. no. <laughs> oh, by the way, I got, I got, I got to remember to throw these in the humidor, but... Um, are they? Ro- oh my god. Ro- Ro- Roma oh. Craft Cigars that was here for uh, uh, F Day. Yeah, yeah for uh, uh, press F respect, for respect, 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 respect Day. day. <laughs> respect Day. Uh, uh, but I, I was Ooh, sitting. Little tinies. Yeah, like I was sitting. Hours, I was sitting hour by them for. Uh, Actually, that's perfect for, for me because I, I, I don't finish I cigars. I like the short stories, they're nice. You're more of a novella girl? Yeah, well, no, not really. But. Wait, okay. what? Trying to make Cigar a metaphor. Yeah. 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 Like another yeah, word for story. a short story, right? Yeah. Oh, books. More of a poem. <laughs> what are we gonna what are we gonna do with them, huh? Poem. Uh, I mean poem. too hard to can't, read. Can't, can't read them, can't burn them. Yeah. What are oh, I'm so what excited. Are they good for? Yeah. Uh one of the one of the well, I'm not gonna be around for the bigger conversation. So I feel like I can talk about you, yeah, you whatever the hell you want. Go for it. Yeah. Go for it. So Drop a mic. Over the weekend at a certain event that oh. I attended, I met a romance writer and I was just like, Oh, awesome. I need deets because I've run through all of them. You should see my worship. Uh, and, and, and by the way, to remind longtime listeners, yeah. there was a moment that I was like, uh, Hey, it's kind of dumb that we have like two different Audible accounts. Why don't we just, you know, because there's a couple oh, of books that no. got on yours, and and I, I want, uh, uh, you know, I, I had to buy them again to listen to them, and I, I forget your password and stuff. You know, we can blend them all together. And Bonnie was like, "I would very much like if you didn't do that." <laughs> I'm on the other side now. I think I very much would like you to listen to some maybe, of them. Maybe, maybe, maybe there's some lessons. <laughs> that, uh, just, just maybe out of I'll curiosity, just highlight some certain passages. Maybe I there's, don't know. Maybe, 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 <laughs> huh, maybe, maybe somebody could do for a few bodice ripping lessons. <laughs> Were these all Chuck Tingle audiobooks? <laughs> Just curious. No, although I do have That'd one in the bit. feed. I do you? I do have one in Which the feed. Which one? Oh, no, no, she had, what, she had to listen to one title? for a bit. I think it was yeah. the, I think, it, yeah, like we, we talked about it. She did a review. She did a book review. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah it was which, the, which book it was the was hot it? tub one, I think. 
Fucked by a hot, a hot tub, tub bird. Yeah. <laughs> Pounded in the butt yeah. by a hot yeah. tub. Yeah. By yeah. a hot, hot tub. tub that yeah. By myself in a hot tub. By, or something. Oh, okay. That's yeah. what it was. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that relatable thing. And then EK, I, EK's really good at uh, at uh, reciting of those stories. Yes. Yeah, she from just, memory. From memory. Yeah. She, mm-hmm. she, you know, I'm about to get in trouble. So, uh, <laughs> and we'll wrap that up before we drive on past that school bus. Uh, uh, oh, wait, wait. So, so you met a romance author? Oh yeah. Yes. Um, and you would think I. Well, I don't know if I should like. Out Drop them. deets or what? Drop them. What the fuck could happen? I don't know. I mean, what somebody, somebody, somebody what? already out of me in a run in my school bus? Bus? Exactly. I mean, it's not like bad to like promote other people. No. no. So let me see. I mean, unless you're about to talk shit. No, no. I think. Uh, Did you pick up some of their work? Uh, well, I'm going to. You're about to. It's about to happen, people. Yep. Uh, I didn't know there was a there was a, a, a romance out there uh, hanging around over the weekend. Yeah. Uh, it oh, was... I know we followed on Instagram, so I'll have to look at that. Oh, is it Mitzi? Well, it me. Oh, Mitzi, Mitzi's here. Mitzi's here yeah. in, in in the green room. Yeah. Uh, uh, the odds of love uh, uh, by Chris Mitsula. Getting, getting over the under. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That would be perfect. You know, Getting you, over the under you really subtitle. It. So much action. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. The pounding the spread would be. All right. Now, now we're we just go. watching Bonnie fiddle on her phone. No, yeah. no, we're filling. Sorry. We're filling while she while she fiddles. Yeah, well, you were Why given five minutes. Now five I minutes bad. ago. Well, yeah, find no, out that's fine. He'll he'll he'll, cra- he'll he'll corral he'll us. Do, and then right. you'll then you'll say, hey, Bryce, and then he'll be like, what? And you'll hold off and then they'll get mad at you uh-huh. and you're like no 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 seriously. yeah see I that's the mad. thing that normally happens so what we have to do is yep. is see there wait, hey bryce shut up We're i don't get mad oh. oh. <laughs> shut up uh, hey bryce i'm on your side again uh, bryce. Shut up. i don't know uh. how this is happening <laughs> i'm just saying all right okay. we're doing important shit so here we go we got what up uh, you can find a follow. Why don't give out a follow to one of our listeners, Adrian Lee Ryder. So, yes, uh, do you USA to- Today bestseller plus yeah. Daydream Believer, Aww. featured in Vogue Mag, Montreal Gazette, and more. Yeah. So Adrian. Adrian. Uh, uh, yeah. Adrian, Adrian uh, Lee. Uh, Adrian Lee. Yeah. Look at that. Yes. Really? And it looks like uh, she is holding her newest work until ruin. Ah. Look at that! Look at that! Uh, yeah, USA bastard. Today That's a hefty uh, bestseller man and, and, a, and a dude a cut a cut dude with uh, with abs and ice cold eyes. Yes. Ooh. Oh, look at that! Someone's getting ruined. <laughs> yeah. And until then, you can read the story. <laughs> yeah. Although, I bet you, I bet you, it ends with some fucking ruin. <laughs> some some Peter Although, going I absolutely into... usually refuse to listen to a, a, or I usually listen to them, and I won't. Buy the books that have like actual people in the front, unless they're like cartoons, because it's just too embarrassing. Oh, <laughs> oh because you don't want you the don't thumbnail the in your like, history on there. Yeah. It's like you, you turn. You don't want like, just like the fucking somebody like touches your phone. Dude, yeah. It's like this is what they're yeah. demure woman like yeah. with her like. Or they're all in an embrace. Yeah. And yeah. it's just like oh, he's over out or something. You're embarrassed at like, that, okay. but you are telling us all that you buy both of those styles of books. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. and Chuck Tingle. I know, (laughs) but yeah, she doesn't want to see it. (laughs) Like she wants to hear it. I don't want to like pull up my phone in the grocery store, start my audio book, be listening to some banging while they're checking out the beep, and And then you see what I'm listening to is like cut dude banging chick with boob falling out. In the yeah, yeah. Uh, (laughs) the the, uh, (laughs) um. Yes. Right. Cut dude banging chick with, with boob falling out. <laughs> that was my favorite. Yeah. I, I, you want to know what, though? I wasn't a fan of the movie. I wasn't. What? You know, I, 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 I thought it lost some of the characters. Honestly, that, I read it for the plot. They combined characters. I read it for the plot. No. Remember when they combined chick whose boob falls out's friend and other friend? Yes. I didn't like yeah. it. I thought they were two separate I mean, characters. It was not believable. Yeah. It was not that believable. wasn't. No. I know, you it can't, ruined the arc. You can't be, you know, the 
pixie dream girl and the one that does all the scheduling. And also, I think yeah. that they, they combine. The they, they, yeah, they, I agree with that. <laughs> yeah. 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 They, That's, That's why you can't combine the characters. The problem is they also combine the sequel. So there was some plot that was from cut dude bangs girl whose boob falls out and the and rest was cut just dude who bangs girl whose boob falls out again <laughs> like when they when they combine when they're taking plots from both it just it makes yeah it wasn't good it's just we, weird that they combined it with moon knight it was moon knight. it was also weird that they combined it with moon knight, no, knight. he hates it less we'll we'll talk about it in a moment uh, uh mission control mission control hello hello uh are you driving uh <laughs> <laughs> yes, and there's a school bus right next to me. <laughs> okay, <laughs> just, just go past it. It'll, go, be right. it'll, it'll, be it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Just ah. keep going. All right. Thank you, Green Room. All right. Thank you, Green Room. All right. Woo-hoo. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Great Night Pre Show Green Room Great Room thing. Hello, I'm Bryce Castillo. And uh, we're here to do a little. We're, we're going to do a few birthdays first. We'll do a few birthdays first and then. Uh, go from there. We're gonna go to our Discord, discord.greatnight.tv. We're gonna check out our birthday borner channel. Let's see, we got a couple here. For example, oh, it was on the. Ah, yes, okay. Cody! <laughs> Cody! <laughs> Cody had a. <clears throat> Cody! Cody! Cody had a birthday on April 9th. Happy birthday, Cody. Uh, Craig's uh, birthday was on the 11th yesterday. Happy birthday, Craig, who turned 42. Uh, and finally, Scoop Shooter. Uh, their birthday is today, and they're stuck at work, but hopefully they can make the show tonight. Thank you for checking us out. Uh, all right, well, we got a little bit of time here before we start the show show, and uh, I think it's time to do just a little bit of some critical racing theory. I'm joined with one Corey Cranfield. Hey, what's up, man? How's it going, man? Oh, just walking on sunshine. Sunshine and honey. Yes. Sunshine and honey. Yes. That, that's what it'll be today. Um, it was sad. Uh, I know what you're about to ask, and it was sad. You know, we've the the. <laughs> yes, <laughs> Would you? So the Australian Grand Prix was over the weekend. It was. And uh, you know, Ferrari. Hey, man, I should buy a lot. You should buy some lottery tickets because yeah. you were right. No, that Ferrari. Percent on a Ferrari. Are doing incredible. Won Charles Leclerc. Yep. Uh, beat. Uh, won the race. Yes. Second and place. It wasn't close. It was not close. It even, was like 14 without, seconds. Even without a Red Bull disaster, it was not going to be close. No, yeah, it, was, it wasn't really close at all. No. Um, and no, then Verstappen, Verstappen had another car reliability issue. Yeah, in the second half of the race. That's it for the year. Like, that's his last mistake for the year. Yeah, I mean, unless he wins all of them. Every race. Possible, but like... But Ferrari is very reliable. In, in general... You have like two DNFs or bad races per year, and that's what you're allotted. Because if you have any more than that, you're not going to win a championship unless something radical happens. Yeah, I mean, I'm a little concerned for his championship uh, chances. The the stat that I saw was that it's been a long while before since anyone has led the championship by more than one full w- victory. Yeah, uh-huh. Um, and all and not only was it a victory. I mean, this this only this doesn't really affect the standings as much, but. Uh, Charles got a grand slam yes, he did. over the weekend, which I had not heard of. Mm-hmm. But because yeah, it doesn't happen very much. <laughs> it's when you win the race, mm-hmm. when you had pole position, yep. when you had the fastest lap during the race, yep. at the end of the race, by the end of the race, mm-hmm. and when you have led every lap yep. of the race. Yep, which is super. It hasn't happened since what 2001? No, uh, I think they say 03 or 04, maybe. Yeah, for Ferrari, right? Yeah, that that's was, yeah. Um, which is, uh, that is a, that's huge. That's, that's a, a gigantic domination. And, you know, for Ferrari, uh, I mean, big points with, with Charles, but Carlos also was out but, almost immediately. Yes. Um, that was kind of painful for one of my teams. Not super bad because everything else I did right on that team. Yeah. But, uh, gosh, I, I'm telling you, I don't like, I don't like that. I don't like that uh, that Ferrari or that Science is having so much trouble. It's it's really it's a shame because we know there's a good car under him. There should be, yep. but even the little bit that he had raced before he DNF'd, he was very slow. It looked like the setup was just bad or bad for him. Yeah, something. I don't know. I, I guess I'd rather have it that way than having them close and fight all year and hate each other. So this mm. way, like, 
Uh, shut up. Uh, Charles <laughs> is uh, is pretty clearly a step is, above. Uh, yes. Or something like maybe it is a maybe they're doing multiple setups or something. Who knows? But yeah, it's gonna be uh, uh, it'll be tough. Now, uh, I will say McLaren uh, did all right. McLaren yeah, did okay. Very impressed with McLaren coming back because they were doing very bad. They were, and, and Lando was out there after the race saying like. The car we haven't changed the car. It's just we are better for this track. Yeah. Um, and so this, if we took this car back to the past two rounds, it wouldn't have changed anything, which is a shame. But um, it was good to see them. It's get some good points. to see that they can at least compete on certain tracks. At least it gives you some hope that they won't be dead last. You know? Yeah. But it really, I think this Australian Grand Prix really cemented to me. I mean, Lando and Daniel getting sixth and seventh right behind, each, right next to each other. Mm -hmm was good yeah. but also i think that it kind of definitively to me definitively tells me that they are the best of the rest and not in the mix in the top yeah they are a Hopefully. very high mid i don't know you know? i'm telling you alonzo still looks super fast if they can just have that reliability issue fixed yeah because he would have finished ahead of them uh yeah probably yeah now i can't believe that freaking mercedes man i hate mercedes <laughs> <laughs> because no matter what, they're right, they're right there. So they're waiting for you. Uh, Russell is in second place in the championship. <laughs> I know. Russell, George Russell, is in <laughs> second place for the championship. I don't like it get any more than of, you did. Get out of my face. <laughs> <laughs> uh, luckily, I, I like Russell okay, and I'm excited for him. Yeah. Especially if he can beat uh, Hamilton. <laughs> Very <laughs> excited for that. I'm, I'm the opposite. I like I like Hamilton. I like having Russell as like a foil to Hamilton. Yeah. Um, that, is, that is not the case so far this season, <laughs> as predicted. Um, otherwise, uh, a, a, a pretty good race. It was. It reminded me a lot of the U.S. Grand Prix last year, where it was a really exciting first half, and then the last half was a lot of. Spreading. Yeah, I, I still was impressed in the back half of the field, how they were so close at the end. You know, um, it wasn't a tremendous amount of passing, but at least they were all tucked up pretty close to each other. Yeah, and it didn't feel like. Yeah, it didn't feel like they ended the race with uh, everybody being three seconds apart, which well, was last year, or with like some races who've been many t many times lapped over, yes. because yeah. that's equally as like uninteresting. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, and so yeah, 57 laps. So Alex Albon is another talking point. He went 57 laps on a hard set of tires without stopping for new tires. Yeah. It's to the point where they had he had to because he left. He could have been disqualified if he didn't go and change his tires. Mm -hmm. um, that was very impressive. I mean, it was it was not that he ran the whole race basically on one set of tires, but also that he was in seventh at the end of that race. Like, granted. Like, 20 seconds is 20 seconds, which is about as long as the pit stop is. But seven seconds off and maintaining it with tires all race is uh, really impressive. Very, very impressive. And I think they scored a point, didn't they? They did get a point. Yeah. Turns out there's a point for 10th place. Let's <laughs> see Hamilton find out. <laughs> oh, man. So we are two weeks away from the next race. Yep. I don't even know where it's at, but uh, it's coming up in two weeks. Uh, 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 a couple of housekeeping things here. Uh, our friend Chris, who set up all of our prediction yeah. stuff that we were doing, uh, uh, told us that we are tied in that prediction game with six okay. points. Okay. Uh, I'm sure he knows the math on yeah, that. I need a recount on that. Um, uh, and and many many uh, 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 good feelings and good well wishes to Chris and uh, and his partner. Because looks like, I, looks like I do have you uh, in the diamond paddock. So we're yeah. So we pulled up the uh, the fantasy formula one here. Our diamond paddock. Uh, let's look up each other first. So uh, Corey is in tenth. Here we go. Ferger Burr uh, is in tenth place. Five hundred and seventy six points. Sure needed signs to be in there. Uh, let's see. Hunks of the Paddock, my B team, uh, is in 14th, 532 points. Let's see. Where's your other team? I don't know. The other team is bad. Yeah. As it turns out. Uh, here we go. My... We're right next to each other. <laughs> We're right next to each other. <laughs> so, but I do. Now my main team is beating your second team. Uh, 29th place for RUC1. My other team's 321 points. Your bullfight, yeah, uh, uh, is which is which is four a, points away. Yeah, because it's basically led by uh, Verstappen. Oh, Verstappen just DNF the two races and a couple which, of the other drivers. So that that poor team is like got good drivers. They just had bad luck. Yeah, uh, jumping up to the top here, uh, our leader is Tom W. Uh, nobody cares. 
with Vettel It to My Heart, 710 points. Love you, Tom. Uh, Xander H in second with Rick Strold, 693 points. And K Mag the Chad from Anton B, 663 points. Third place. Uh, this, uh, I think I've we've been busy with Founders Day, yes. which we will talk about in the first part of the show coming up. Um, so I did not really touch my fantasy team. I didn't even look at it. But no. I think this week I'm going to take a look, and I think it's time to reassess. Yeah, I think so too. Because I'm, I, I was trying to hold on to uh, Alphatari, um, but they're not showing up. No, no, they're not. Certainly not Yuki. I think I think Yuki. I think I gave Yuki up after the first week. Yeah, and I, actually I don't have Yuki, but I still have. I think I have them as one of my my secondary team. Oh, I see. I th- has them as my as my team. Yeah. Um, and so I think I need to swap them out for somebody else <laughs> mm, who would you go for like um, i feel like yeah who would you go I'd for in your probably actually that it level to, it depends on the money situation um uh alpine if i can oh really okay if i cannot uh then aston Has? Oh, no 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 uh, <laughs> no because um probably not has i'd probably move it to uh just to have somebody different mm-hmm. um alfa romeo Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. And, Botas seems to be scoring points scoring ahead points. of where he's yeah. supposed to. Joe got some. Joe got points on yeah. that first race. Yeah. So. So yeah, that makes sense. I can't afford Alpine. I may have to go the other direction and move some stuff around. Yeah. Oh, I got one thing for you. This is this is separate. For, this is not racing. But uh, you asked a little while ago for suggestions for things to play with your daughter. Yes. And uh, a couple weeks back, I was on the Rage Select pot, the, the Rage Select YouTube series. Okay. And we played a game that I had not ever heard of. I the very first thing I did was ask him what it was, mm-hmm. but uh, though I'm sure you've probably maybe you've probably heard of it, Tiny Tina's Wonderlands. Oh. It is uh, the it is a spinoff from the Borderlands really? series. Okay, and it's a full Tiny Tina adventure. Awesome. And so instead of having four like preset characters, you create a custom character. You choose like your body type and voice and colors and all sorts of stuff. Annalisa is grinning ear to ear. Do you do you I, like? I, I, yes. That I play this, and I actually want to try it out. Yeah, which is great because I'm still mourning the loss of Overwatch as my favorite game. Yeah, um, and I'll say that like I think this is a really good game. Like Borderlands games, I kind of usually skip the story a little bit. How dare you? Where this, I actually like thought it was kind of funny and charming. Like the rest of them are too. You know? <laughs> <laughs> but, but it's little stuff. Yeah. It's like neat and compact. The the most interesting thing is that it's not an open world game like Borderlands is. It's like uh, there's like an overworld map, and so like Pokemon style, there's like tall grass, and you get into encounters. And so when you fight people, instead of just having a bunch of open areas and caverns that dogs come out of, uh, you just load into an arena, just a little battleground arena, and you do waves. And you do a couple of waves, you get some loot, and then you get out of there. And it's very weird at first because that's not the way you expect those games to work. Yeah. But uh, it ends up working really well and getting rid of a lot of the like trudging around back and we'll, forth. We'll give it a shot. Yeah, I, it back. It's I think really I like cute. it. I've watched some gameplay, and I I, I, I I might have to try. And it's and it's like it feels like Borderlands. It's got a million guns and co-op and stuff. So yes. yeah, I hope you guys uh, check it out. Maybe you like it. Yeah, thanks. All right, well, that's going to do it here for some Critical Racing Theory. Thank you very much, Corey, and everybody who's listening. We are going to get our last checks here for the Great Night Podcast. Hello, everybody. Thank you for joining us here one last time. Make sure you check us out on Patreon. Actually, for the first time, make sure you check us out on Patreon, patreon.com slash great night. You'll get a bonus episode, four or five, up to five times a week. Excuse me, up to five times a week. A month. A month. Shit. Fuck. Uh, up to five a month. Uh, of course, you also get access to our Diamond Lounge on Discord, where we give you all the behind the seat, se- this behind the secrets, sneak, sneaky stuff. Uh, we tell you about the bones, get your email alerts, all sorts of stuff. Alrighty, everybody is filing in here perfectly. Oh yeah, Chris, you're gonna have to get out of Brett's chair. Thank you very much. Alrighty, you good? Oh my gosh, there's there's a whole. There, I can't even. There's. It would take too long to explain the thing that just happened. Alrighty, mm, let's do some checks. Uh, Brian, you good? Yo yo. Justin. Yo yo. Brett. Hello, friend. Ah, oh, there we go. Corey. Yeah. Annalisa. Yeah. Oh, he did it. Ah, oh, damn. 
It's like, you can't be doing bits off camera, Corey. <laughs> that's that's <laughs> no. <laughs> Uh, let's see, audience, are you ready? And Chad, are you good? Alrighty, everybody, thank you for joining us here in the great room. Brett, I'm gonna count you in. Ready? Yes. Ready, ready? Okay, good. Good, good, good. All right, here we go. Uh, 